My name is uh, Joshua Myers. Uh, I'm born and raised in Columbus, Georgia. Uh, pretty much my life before Christ was very, very, very dark place. Um, I was seven years old. My mom, I remember my mom coming in my room looking for me and she found me in my closet hanging by a belt at seven years old. Um, just just very, very dark place. Um, I had my mom and my dad both cared for me unconditionally. They loved me. They give me anything and everything I could ever want, but I still chose to let the streets be my mom and daddy. Um, that led me to a 20 plus year methamphetamine addiction. I got clean for the first time in 2017. And that's when I, that's when I, made the decision to to give my life to Christ it was in 2017 and you know God gave me everything back he may give me my wife back my kids you know the little bit of family that I have left um he gave that back to me and I, I was good for three four years but then I started getting it in my mind that I was good I'm good I'm good and I quit acknowledging God, and I quit acknowledging that Jesus you know, did what he did for me. And before I knew it, I had, I had backslid. I slid off that wagon and found myself using again. And that lasted from about 2000, I say 2020, to the beginning of 2022, until I reached out to my, my buddy Bobby, who is uh, over the transition house. And uh, he's like, look, I, I can help you. You just got to be willing to go to the center of hope. I was like, all right, at this point, I'm ready to try anything because I'm already getting it in my mind that the only way out of the, the area that I'm in right now in my life is, is to take my life. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm there. I'm ready. You know, uh, the enemy's done beat me up and beat me up and beat me up and told me, you know what I mean, that the only way out is death. You're done, you're too far. So. I wound up making it to my buddy Bobby's house and he got me to the center of hope. And man, the, just the, the level of love, God's love that is in that place that they showed me from day one, it, it, it wound up changing me very quickly back to where I was in 2017 when I gave my life to Christ. You know, this place, ain't, it, Josh V never met me a day in my life, but he sent me through the center of hope, not ever meeting me. He told Bobby, said, yeah, we're going to sponsor him at the Center of Hope. You know what I mean? So that was that was a blessing to me. You know what I mean, I see Josh put in so much of his time, his effort, you know, his own personal money into the ministry, the ABLE ministry, to, to help support all us that are going through his transition, you know, this, this transition phase. That's an awesome, awesome feeling to know that I have that kind of support team here, you know what I mean, where I don't have to worry about nothing, ever. In the future, I just want my children to come to know Christ like I do. You know, know that I keep trying to tell my daughter every day, you want to see a miracle, but you're looking at one. You're looking at one. I'm the miracle. I shouldn't be here. I'm 20 plus year methamphetamine addiction, I ain't got a single drug charge on my record. I never got arrested. I never, you know what I mean, for the things I was doing. And that's all God, because God had a bigger purpose for my life. And that's to, to try to reach as many people as I could reach.